For instance, it's almost certain that Neanderthal man played. And they would have been competitive. Most scientists are sure that they spoke. For a long time, scientists believed Neanderthals wore only animal skins. They couldn't have made clothes because no needles with eyes were found in their caves. But a simple spike would be enough to make holes in leather and fur, through which strips of hide and sinews could be threaded. For a long time, Neanderthals were thought to have lived in unhygienic conditions, but there's hardly any sign of tooth decay in the Andertal remains. They may have known more about personal hygiene than we give them credit for. But ideas about the level of Neanderthal development have been revolutionized by one astonishing discovery. Long before Homo sapiens, our own ancestors, came to Europe, Neanderthal man invented and manufactured an extraordinarily effective glue. The Museum of Prehistory in Halle has its own supply of Ice Age adhesive. This fragment was found in the 1960s as a dig in Königsauer in eastern Germany. But it was years before the researchers realized what they had. This glue is proof of the Neanderthaler's remarkable inventiveness and of a genuine Neanderthal technology. Everyone thought it was just a piece of pitch. No one believed the Neanderthalers could have made an adhesive out of simple birch bark. And there were good reasons. It's very difficult to make, even with modern equipment. Dr. Christian Heinrich Wunderlich has tried. Many different chemical reactions have to take place at the same time, and the process has to take place very fast. This isn't easy to achieve, even in a test tube. I had to have several goes before I even got it halfway right, and each time it turns out differently. It's hard to imagine how Neanderthal man managed without a Bunsen burner and without a test tube. No scientist has succeeded in making this pitch glue with the materials Neanderthals could have used. But a chance discovery among a Native American tribe in Canada has given a very strong idea how they must have done it. They put tightly rolled strips of birch bark in a hole in the ground. If you good, shoot up. Hold on. Next, they packed it with earth to keep out the air. Then, they applied a smoldering stick. First, it emitted a pleasant smell like smoked pork, and then the birch bark, deprived of oxygen, sweated out the valuable pitch. If any air was let in, the bark would catch fire and the process would be ruined. It wouldn't have gone right every time, especially while you were learning. <laughs> 